Hello, everyone. Welcome to Herbatology and Bus Transfer Science Lecture. We will be having a series of questions and answer on different topics that we have handled so far. And today we will be discussing different multiple choice questions on megaloblastic anemia. My name is Dr. Ife Mary Ann Okafo, a lecturer in the Department of Hematology and Blood Transfusion Science, Faculty of Medical Laboratory Science, College of Medical Sciences, University of Calabar, Nigeria. Our first question goes this way. What is the primary cause of megaloblastic anemia? A, iron deficiency. B, vitamin B12 and folate deficiency. C, hemolysis. D, chronic disease. Answer. The answer is B, vitamin B12 and folate deficiency. Which of the following is a characteristic feature of megaloblastic anemia? We have microcytic hypochromic red blood cells, macrocytic normochromic red blood cells, normocytic normochromic red blood cells, microcytic normochromic red blood cells. And our answer is B, macrocytic normochromic red blood cells. U12 deficiency, U12 and folate deficiency, we list a megaloblastic anemia is marked by macrocytic red blood cells, macrocytic red blood cells. What is the underlying defect of a megaloblastic anemia? A, impaired DNA synthesis, B, impaired RNA synthesis, impaired protein synthesis, impaired lipid synthesis. The answer is A, impaired DNA synthesis. Which of the following is a common symptom of megaloblastic anemia? We have fatigue, hypertension, hyperglycemia, hypokalamia. The answer is A, fatigue. What is the role of vitamin B12 in megaloblastic anemia? It is required for DNA synthesis. It is required for iron absorption. It is required for calcium metabolism. It is required for protein synthesis. The answer is A, it is required for DNA synthesis. Which of the following is a common cause of vitamin B12 deficiency? Adequate dietary intake, malabsorption, excess excretion, increased metabolism. The answer is B, malabsorption. What is the role of folate in megaloblastic anemia? It is required for DNA synthesis. It is required for iron absorption. It is required for calcium metabolism. It is required for protein synthesis. The answer is A, it is required for DNA synthesis. Which of the following is a common cause of folate deficiency? We have inadequate dietary intake, malabsorption, excessive excretion, increased metabolism, the answer is A, inadequate dietary intake. Remember, folate is very labile. Overcooking your vegetables will lead to inadequate dietary intake. Which of these, what is the significance of hypersegmented neutrophils in megaloblastic anemia? What is the significance of hypersegmented neutrophils in megaloblastic anemia? We have, it is a diagnostic feature. It, is in the, it indicates iron deficiency, it indicates hemolysis, it indicates chronic disease. The answer is A, it is a diagnostic feature of megaloblastic anemia. Hypersegmented neutrophils is a diagnostic feature of megaloblastic anemia. Which of the following is a neurological symptom of B12 deficiency? We have peripheral neuropathy, central neuropathy, auto autonomic neuropathy, no effect on the nervous system. The answer is A, peripheral neuropathy. What is the role of intrusive factor in vitamin B12 absorption? It transports vitamin B12 in the blood, facilitates B12 
absorption in the ileum. It converts vitamin B12 to its active form. It stores vitamin B12 in the liver. And the answer is B. It facilitates vitamin B12 absorption in the ileum. Which of the following condition is associated with B12 deficiency? We have pernicious anemia, iron deficiency anemia, sickle cell anemia, thalassemia. The answer is A, pernicious anemia. What is the role of methyl tetrahydrofolate in folate metabolism? It donates a methyl group for DNA synthesis. It donates a methyl group for protein synthesis. It donates a methyl group for vitamin B12 activation. It donates a methyl group for iron absorption. The answer is A. It donates a methyl group for DNA synthesis. Which of the following is a consequence of vitamin B12 deficiency on folate metabolism? Folate trapping, folate excretion, folate activation, folate storage, and the answer is A, folate trapping. What is the role of homocysteine in vitamin B12 folate metabolism? It is converted to methionine using vitamin B12 and folate. It is converted to cysteine using vitamin B12 and folate. It is converted to serine using vitamin B12 and folate. It is converted to glycine using vitamin B12 and folate. And the answer is A, it is converted to methionine using vitamin B12 and folate as coenzyme. Which of the following is a marker of vitamin B12 deficiency? Elevated homocysteine, elevated methylmalonic acid, elevated folate, elevated ion, and the answer is B. <clears throat> the answer is B, elevated methylmalonic acid. Which of the following is a marker of B12 folate deficiency? Elevated homocysteine, elevated methylmalonic acid, elevated B12, elevated ion, and the answer is A, elevated homocysteine. What is the role of vitamin B12 in the conversion of methylmalonic acid to succinic CoA? It acts as a cofactor for methylmalonic CoA mutes. It acts as a cofactor for methylmalonic coenzyme A mutes. It acts as a cofactor for methionine synthesis. It acts as a cofactor for thymidylate synthesis. It acts as a cofactor for dihydrofolate reductase. And the answer is A. It acts as a cofactor for methylmalonic coenzyme A mutes. Which of the following is a consequence of folate deficiency during pregnancy? Neural tube defects, iron deficiency anemia, hemolytic anemia, aplastic anemia, and the answer is A, neural tube defect. What is the role of vitamin B12 in the synthesis of methionine from homocysteine? You have, it acts as a cofactor for methionine synthesis. It acts as a cofactor for methylmalonic coenzyme co A mutes. It acts as a cofactor for thymidylase synthesis. It acts as a cofactor for dihydrofolate reductase. The answer is A. It acts as a cofactor for methionine synthesis. What is the role of folate in the synthesis of thymidine? It donates a methyl group for thymidine synthesis. It donates a methyl group for methionine synthesis. It donates a methyl group for homocysteine synthesis. It donates a methyl group for serine synthesis. And the answer is A. It donates a methyl group for thymidine synthesis. What is the role of vitamin B12 in synthesis of succinic coenzyme A? It acts as a cofactor for methylmalonic coenzyme A mutes. It acts as a cofactor for methionine synthesis. It acts as a cofactor for thymidylase synthesis. It acts as a cofactor for dihydrofolate reductase. And the answer is A. It acts as a cofactor for methylmalonic coenzyme A mutes. Which of the following is a consequence of 
vitamin B12 deficiency on homocysteine levels. A, elevated homocysteine, decreased homocysteine, no change in homocysteine, homocysteine excretion, and the answer is A, elevated homocysteine. What is the role of folate in the synthesis of purines? A, it donates a methyl group for purine synthesis. It donates a methyl group for pyrimidine synthesis. It donates a methyl group for methionine synthesis. It donates a methyl group for homocysteine synthesis. And the answer is A, it donates a methyl group for purine synthesis. Which type of red blood cell are characteristic of megaloblastic anemia? Microcytes, normocytes, megaloblasts, spherocytes, and the answer is C, megaloblast. Which vitamin is primarily associated with pernicious anemia? Vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin B12, and vitamin D. And the answer is C, vitamin B12. What relative finding is typical in patients with megaloblastic anemia? Microcytic red blood cells, hypersegmented neutrophils, elevated prelate counts, decreased white blood cell counts. And the answer is B, hypersegmented neutrophils. Which condition can lead to malabsorption of vitamin B12? We have sickle cell disease, Crohn's disease, thalassemia, and hemophilia. And the answer is B. What is the role of intrusive factor in vitamin B12 absorption? It helps in iron absorption. It helps, it protects B12 from degradation. It facilitates the transport of B12 in the bloodstream. It is necessary for the intestinal absorption of vitamin B12. The answer is D. It is necessary for the intestinal absorption of vitamin B12. Which medication is known to cause megaloblastic anemia as a side effect? We have aspirin, hydroxyurea, metformin, amoxicillin, and the answer is B. What diet source is highest in folate? Meat, citrus fruits, leafy green vegetables, dairy products. Answer is C, leafy green vegetables. What type of anemia may occur alongside iron deficiency in a patient with megaloblastic anemia? Normocytic anemia, dimorphic anemia, hypochromic anemia, sideroblastic anemia, and the answer is B, dimorphic anemia. In megaloblastic anemia, which laboratory finding indicates ineffective erythropoiesis, high reticulocyte count, low reticulocyte count, normal white blood cell count, elevated platelets, and the answer is B, low reticulocyte count in the presence of megaloblastic anemia in the case ineffective erythropoiesis. Which type of cells are often seen on the peripheral blood spine in megaloblastic anemia? Spherocytes, oval macrocytes, schizocytes, and target cells. And the answer is B, oval macrocytes. How does chronic alcoholism contribute to folate deficiency? By increasing absorption rate, by decreasing dietary intake and absorption, by enhancing metabolism, by promoting storage. The answer is B, by decreasing dietary intake and absorption. Which symptom may indicate neurological involvement in vitamin B12 deficiency? Numbness and tingling, abdominal pain, frequent urination, skin rash. The answer is A, numbness and tingling. What type of nutritional deficiency can lead to elevated homocysteine level, increasing cardiovascular risk? Vitamin, B, vitamin K deficiency, vitamin E deficiency, folate deficiency, iron deficiency. And the answer is C, folate deficiency. In which part of gastrointestinal tract does intrusive factor primarily act to facilitate vitamin B12 absorption? We have stomach, jejunum, jejunum, ileum. And the answer is ileum, G. We diagnostic tool is essential for differentiating between types of macrocytic anemias. 
her peripheral blood smear, bone marrow biopsy, serum electrolyte panel, liver function test, and the answer is A, peripheral blood smear. The following test can be used to diagnose butyl deficiency, except we have scaling tests, estimation of homocysteine level, methylmalonic acid assay, polyglutamic acid assay, and the answer is D, polyglutamic acid assay. These are diagnostic tests for megaloblastic anemia, except lycopac tests, formulaglutamic excretion tests, protoporphyrin tests, methylmalonic acid tests, and the answer is C, protoporphyrin test. Thank you very much for staying with us throughout this question and answer series. I hope that these questions will help you to prepare for your exams. Please stay tuned and make sure you watch all the series that we have on our question and answer series. Thank you very much. And if you have not subscribed yet, please, this is the time to subscribe. Thank you.